Good evening. <laughs> good evening, good evening. Right, let's just make sure that we're up and live. Let's get the energy levels up. You man are dead. Right, come on. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Let's get this going. Right, we are live on Facebook. What's good, Facebook? You sort of just locked in. If you're there, give us a little shout out, thumbs up, shout out to Selena. Let's get this going. Looks like one man is carrying this show today. That's me, bro. Do. Right, cool. We've got five people locked in there. And let's get this one going as well. Okay, shut the fuck up. That's very rude, Marlon. <laughs> Listen to me. Right, we're live on um on both platforms, so let's kind of get this going. If you're on YouTube, let us know how sharp we are as well, because um, like I said, well, I want to make sure that we've got interaction on both channels today, uh, because it's quite a, a good topic. Good evening, Shante. So we're live on uh, YouTube. Thank you. Let us know what the quality is like, please. We had an issue last time. Uh, shout out to Michelle. She says, yo. Yeah. You can say yo back or say hello or something. It's cool. Yo. Yeah. All right, cool. Listen. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this going. All right. Grown ass men in the building. Make some noise. Come on, man. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Right. Man's awake, innit? Man's awake. Yeah, if you sort of just kind of shift down and around, yeah? I can't really be seen too good. But don't worry, because I've got this government shirt on. It's not like I really want to be seen today, innit? Right, before we obviously introduce the show and what we're going to be talking about, let's introduce who we've got inside. Shout out to Daniel as well. Appreciate all the likes and everything. That's, the, um, that's a good look. YouTube is a little pixely. I don't know what the issue there is. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and see if we can get that sorted out as well. Um, but we are live, so we're going to continue. Yeah, we, We've got a very good topic that we want to speak about today. Let's introduce who we got, starting from my far right. Yes, yeah, the Pan-African, a.k.a. Dwayne. What's going on, people? Rakes. Yes, what's good, man? It's Darren. And obviously you've got myself, the host of the show. You know, sleeves are hugging, I ain't gonna lie, the sleeves are hugging. Yeah, but um, let's, let's kind of get this thing popping off, yeah? Because it's quite a, it's a subject that I was very, very interested in speaking about. Um, it, it kind of... We gave birth to the subject for a conversation that uh, me and Dwayne actually had. Um, and we were just talking about women, as we do, and why women are the way that they are. Uh, and I don't mean that in any sort of disrespect, yeah? Uh, I, I'm, I'm talking about in terms of emotionally dealing with, with men, um, relationships, and where that actually stems from. Uh, I, I know, for example, that a, a lot of the stuff that I've been through and relationships that I've had, the, the example that I've seen is from, from my parents, whether that be for them being together or in separate relationships. So we, were, we wanted to kind of touch on that. So we wanted to talk about the role absent fathers, all right? Um, sorry, I've got a little something pre-done as well, you know? It's them ones there today. So um, basically, we have kind of put a few memes out there um, talking about different women um, and, again, why, the way, why they are the way that they are and kind of coming to... I don't know, to kind of say that, yeah, that, that was the reason that they are, is because their, their father played no role. One of the memes that we really did want to put out, what well, I wanted to get out there, but we didn't have time to put it together, was um, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, what was the, um, the slogan? Um, help me out. <laughs> no, you're not going to help me out. But now, basically, obviously, Kim's father, yeah, lost her father, yeah, who is um, oh, Rob Kardashian. Is it Rob Kardashian? Yeah, Robert Kardashian yeah. lost her way. And that's when she you know starts for legal and, and Ray J and all of them things there. So, yeah, that was one of the ones that we wanted to put out there. But like I said, it's a very, very serious topic. Um, first of all, let me just kind of get the viewpoint of, of how you guys feel about absent fathers and the role in which they play, especially obviously for their daughters or the impact it, it has on them. Um, I think that um, obviously having a lack of a father figure in your life is going to have an impact on your life. Uh, it may not be the same with every woman and some women may appear not to be affected. But I feel somewhere along the line, not having a parent is going to make an impact on anybody. So for me, um, I do think it's very important for fathers to play the role um, with, with their children. My thing on um, absent fathers, I've experienced a lot of women... Well, oh, that sounds... Funny. <laughs> <laughs> I come oh, again. <laughs> I've come across women in my life where they 
they come across they come across a lot harder when that like, ones that haven't had father figures in their lives I think to, to me my experience of them have come across a lot harder in that um, it's like they, they're not experienced on on the interaction with, 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 with men with, 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 with men on, on certain levels okay. um, I don't, it's not it's not to say that they don't know how to how to be in a relationship because because of, they haven't had a father figure I, I kind of just feel like they've kind of had their own way of growing up and and be, being a woman that um, where a father a father may have may have guided that in a certain direction yeah. I, I'm willing to kind of feel like they've kind of kind of gone in their own direction by by not having a father there this is this is this is one of the points that I wanted to kind of put out uh, put out there there's a few things I'm going to put some things out there just to kind of give us a, a, a way or guide of conversation absent fathers make women yeah allow men to walk over them because they was never taught what love from a man in childhood is like yeah, and sometimes I think it, it's almost like um, I don't again, please, women. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but it's almost like um, having dyslexia, and I, I mean that in the sense of of how to receive and interpret love. So I believe, yeah, and it's not factual. This is just going off of my own, you know, viewpoint. That, for example, women who get into abusive relationships, yeah, that. The demonstration of that man being there and, and loving them, they can't translate that into in, in terms of disrespect and love and knowing where to, to kind of separate. I'm not saying that they don't know that they're being mistreated, but they can sometimes think that it's love. out of love. love. Do you understand what I mean? Or interpret that as, well, he's, he cares enough about me. He's not leaving me. Do you understand what I mean? And I think that sometimes the, um, the, the abandon, that abandon feeling makes women hold on to something rather than letting go even if it's not good for them do you understand what i mean um and it can also so and yeah. honest, it can also have the reverse effect because i know someone who didn't have their father, her father around and she's just extremely i want to say volatile but like she's basically like no one is not taking the piss out of me I don't okay do it so yeah, yeah. i think that's what that's what i was yeah trying to, like they, yeah, yeah. Which, is, which is understandable do you know what i mean because Obviously, it's that thing of, like you said, abandonment mm. um, and having somebody or the, 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 the father figure, the man who's meant to, to love you first and foremost before any other, uh, other guy not being in your life, then it's like some women will turn to that and say, well, all right, cool. Yeah. That, that's not going to happen to me again. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to guard I'm gonna protect my heart. That's not happening to me again. And as a result, they act a certain way in order to protect themselves. But a lot of them, I, I think that's subconscious. I, 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 I don't think it's a thing where, because I don't think loads of girls will grow up thinking, well, I've been abandoned by my dad, so I'm going to act like this. And mm. I, I, I do think oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a subconscious thing that, you know, they, 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 ju they just grow up being maybe more defensive than mm. maybe some no, maybe I, 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 I hear that. Their I hear that. Listen, I want to take you to the stream as well. Um, shout out to Shaheen, yeah? says that I'm a single father. You know what, yeah? Big you up as well, because we don't have many men who like to kind of comment and kind of put, you know, what it is out there. So respect for that. I'm a single father and have my daughter more than her mum does. And I'm young, but she means the world to me. And today her first tooth came out, but I promised her I wouldn't leave her and be absent like my dad was. You know what? Big up, man. And I'm serious. Those are it's those little things that, that go up such a, a, a long way. Sometimes it's not about, oh, you know what? Take him, I've got to take my daughter, I've got to buy her these new trainers and blah, 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 and all of this stuff. It's just being there. Just you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it is time. Big up Charlene. She says, I'm in for once. Wow, go on, pop gun. Yes. Well, yeah. right. She's in. Right, cool. <laughs> now that she said that, by the way. Right. We're going to give it there. Oh, pop gun and that. But yeah, I didn't want to kind of take it there. Right, there, there is something else that I wanted to kind of bring to the table. Mm. And again, if, if women are watching this as well, um, and you have had the experience of, of having an absent, from, well, of not having a father, um, in, who play a role in your life, please comment. Because one of the things that I did want to touch on is, we talk about absent fathers, and I think when we say that, it's like, well, they've just never been there. Mm. What about the ones who have been there and then left? 
how does it differ in terms of the impact to the woman of someone who just never ever had someone Still gonna have a and then, you know what I'm saying, someone who was there and then left? I could, I could, I could, I could, I could only imagine, because it's not happened to that. I can only imagine that that, that would be worse. Um, because you've had, then then you have that kind of experience of somebody actually abandoning you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If somebody's never been there, then it's not really abandonment in that person's eyes. And yeah, for, with, with, with someone not being there, it's almost like you are not learning things without knowing that you're yeah. being affected. If your father leaves you while you are growing up, you are you are affected directly straight away with that and you know that you've been So you reckon it's got a bigger impact I on believe your father an, being there and then yeah, disappearing? I believe that has a big, big, big impact. Because like I was Especially saying, emotionally. Like, yeah, yeah. Like I was saying about before, um, certain, certain women aren't, aren't, acting in, in, uh, aren't acting in a defensive way on, um, purpose. on purpose in the subconscious. When, when you've actually seen your father leave or you know, you've been used to them and then they leave, then yes, I can understand you then acting in a way that is that is overly overly defensive and you know, worried about someone else hurting you. Got you, got you. Alright, well um, let me just again take you to the stream. Danielle said, a father not being there for his daughter is her first lesson about men yes. and will make that little girl feel a certain way about men as a whole. Definitely. Right, as, as much as I do agree with that, are we are we gener uh, generally generally speaking? Oh. Because and, and the reason why I say that is because let's just say for example um, a, a daughter hasn't had her father there or um, you know father's not there to take the um, to give the first lesson but she's got older brothers she's got uncles she's got yeah. father people who play fatherly Mel role Melf Mel yeah to Mel do that yeah is uh, well, whilst I know she won't up. still be affected. Do you think that she it would be still affected? It's going to be slight, it might not be as bad, but I still think there's going to be some kind of effect because it's not the same type yeah. of love. Generally, I, generally I, those male figures are only compensation for your father not being there. It's not the, it's not the it's same. It's not the same thing. It's, yeah. it's, 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 if, if that uncle or brother basically takes on the father father figure role, as in consciously does it, then, then, then possibly. Because I think of the way I am with my daughter, like, I don't over her. Like, it's... It's just a special bond. No one can't love her like the way you right. think. It's a, it's a special bond. Yeah, you know? no, so that's what I'm saying. A, a brother is not necessarily going to think to himself, okay, I need to step in and provide that level of love. Do you know what I mean? And if he will step in and level of love that he thinks is the right level, right. but he's right. a brother, right. so exactly. he's never so ever going to same. be that same, yeah. same type of love. Right. Exactly. Well, the way, let, let me just kind of put this out there then. So are, are we saying that genuinely that and I, I, again, women, I, I'm trying to be so careful, yeah, that I'm not being disrespectful. And I'm not even, this ain't no humour thing. I, 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 it's a serious um, subject that I do want to kind of delve into and speak about. So would you say that women who have had fathers who have, have damaged them bring that damage into relationships? Into, into every relationship. Is that a strict rule? Is that fact? or we, Not obviously fact, but is that just a strict rule as far as we're concerned? I or, believe that, like I said, if, if it's happened to you, they may not know that they are, that they are carrying carrying that baggage, baggage here, and as far as they're concerned, they are fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you haven't had something in your life. It's going to affect you. If you don't have your mum around, it's going. To, you may not know that it's affected you, but it's going to have some type of effect on you. Mm -hmm. Does it mean whether you know it or not, whether you can see it or not, there is going to be a negative effect. I, I was going to say the same. The, the only thing I, I would say is that. Especially because we could have done this show the other way around in terms of um, men and mothers. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean? Because I, I think that there is there is something special about the love that you get from uh, the parental love that you get from the opposite sex. Do you yeah. understand what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that is going to be what holds you instead for, for obviously the future. And the, and the way in which you receive people as well. Do you understand what I mean? Because as far as I'm concerned, if I did have a daughter, shout out to me. Do you know what it's saying about the man? Like, it's, it's, you know, I'm never going to bother. He's no. here, he's here, he's here, he's here. I'm just saying that. When you've got a daughter, you know that you're a man, in it? But anyway, I'm sorry. 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 i no, I don't know, man. Oh, it's gone, man. I'm, I'm, I'm upset with that. That's Sorry. you. My bad, my bad. I think, I think, for me, I just think it's, it's. We always talk about guys and boys and how it affects the, the negative impact that it has on, on, on guys. And 
everybody automatically agrees with it. And I think this is exactly the same for women. It will definitely have a negative impact not having a father figure or a mother figure. Right. I think it's his parent. I think both parents are very important. Exactly. Mm. Because because what it is at the end of the day is one cannot cover for the other. Yeah. That's exactly the question that. I was going to ask. Exactly. They, they provide can, can, can they? No, you cannot, no. You cannot compensate no. for your father not being there or your mother not being there. No. The mum can't do what the dad does and the dad cannot do what the I mean, that's does. disrespectful to single parents. So what, what are you saying? That it's so unfortunate for single parents. Men, men, men oh, do it. And, and many, many successful do. women can still come out of single yeah. parent households no and, 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 and love and marry and, and do no, it. But, 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 but they are not the same. Many women step up to the plate and you know have to do a lot, a lot more because the father wasn't around. And it's not to say that that person is then doomed for life, you know. You can come out, you can, you can come, out, come out of that childhood successful, but you, it is still not the same, the same upbringing as, as, as it would have been if you had a balanced parent. As a single parent, oh, yeah, no. if you raise children from, from scratch as a single parent, you're a great single parent. That's it. You're not both, you're not mother and father. Yeah, I'm with you. You are just mum or you are yeah, just but we can't, I, My thing is this, you, you can't ignore the fact that, that there are sometimes men and women who who do have to play both roles. Well, you're not playing no. both roles. You, you, you are. How how do you play both roles? Cool. You're cool. Hey, what I'm saying. Remember, you're, 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 not, you're not you're not yeah, I'm playing, playing the role. role. You're, but you're not 100%. You can't say that I'm compensating, not, but I'm not playing the role. You're, you're, not, you're, you're, you're not 100% doing it. You're not 100% doing, doing, you you not 100 doing exactly right. what the woman is doing. saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Playing the role. I'm not saying that I am mum, but I have to but play the role. They're, they're, they're not. They're not there. So why should I? Why can I not? Listen give, to what you're saying. Why can I not give? But that's what we're what saying. What that? What that person? Listen, listen to what you're saying. What were you Sorry. talking about? Sorry, you just keep saying. Listen. What's what you're no, no, no. You're saying. In fact, the fact of the matter is, yeah. playing. You can't be it. Can what? What are you? What? Are you? Come on. You don't. No, 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 we're gonna be, we're gonna be pedantic. It's so, not pedantic. You think I, I meant that I am mum now. No, but that's what we're saying. That's the point we're making. The point is right. But I'm trying to say I can still. I'm trying to. I'm trying to um, say that I could still supply what that 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 mother no, could. No, so no, no. why? It's because you're not a mother. So, no, so that's it. Yeah, I'm that's it. You're, you're playing. You're playing football. So, yeah, you're not a goalkeeper. You're, no, you're not a goalkeeper. No, yeah? you're, you're not a goalkeeper. Yeah, you're, 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 you're goal goal. Single parents. I know you. Some of you play both roles. I don't care. That's not what I'm yeah, saying. You're not a goalkeeper. You have to go and goal. You're playing the role. You're not doing the same job that a goalkeeper could do because that's not your. That's not you. Uh, no. That's not a wicked example. That is. That's, that's, if that's I said the I'm a goalkeeper. But no, 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 you're not doing it in the same way. But for that, but for that, if I stop the ball from going in the goal, you've done something. You've done something. There is no way that you can do exactly right. what, what, that, what that position I get, you, I get what you're trying to say. It was just a bad I think you are. Listen, 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 listen. The fact of the matter is, yeah, you, you cannot teach a, a, a little girl how to be a woman. Exactly. You cannot. It is, it is not within you to teach a little girl how to be a woman. Right, you know why? Because so, so, you are right, not. Let, right, so let, let me just get this straight. Can I just, let me, can I, can I just get this straight? Mm. So, <laughs> if I raise a little girl yeah. by myself, yeah. she then becomes a woman, yeah. and she's successful in life, has a great marriage, yeah. who taught her? No, but you haven't taught her how to be a woman. And, 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 this is and, bullshit, and, man. It's not, it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's not. And what, uh, no, and, and what you taught thing. her is being a woman through a Your man's perspective. perspective. Yes. Not but through I a man's perspective. Yes, and I get that. Okay. You didn't say that before. But that's okay. not the same as what, but, but, but the point is, it's right. not the same as a woman. But my original point was, can you be successful in terms of playing both roles? You didn't say that. You didn't say that. But, but, I swear, if we can do rewind, I swear down. You didn't say that, bro. It wasn't about them, it wasn't about being successful. We said you used to position. You say, are they not playing both roles? But the reality is, you're playing dad, yeah, and you're giving your daughter all that you possibly, all that you possibly can. Exactly. But you are not mum. Exactly. And I think I a, lot, a, a, lot, a lot of single parents, there are a lot of single parents out there who kind of take umbrage when, 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 when people say what we're saying. And it's not a, it's not a disrespect thing. It's not a knock on the job. Because you're doing, doing a good job. Exactly. It's not a knock on the job that you're doing. It's just understanding that it's pivotal to having to, 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 to the child's well-being, to having two parents there. And if you haven't got the two parents there, just understand that you're not able to do the job that that father is going to do in terms of a, of of any of the child's life. It's just it's just that, and it, that and simple. It, it works both ways. It's like think about how how much your dad means to you. Mm. There is, do you think that your as as good as your mum is? Do you think she could have she could have made you the man that you are without without your dad? Tough. 
tough question, isn't it? Because you, <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't you, you, I don't know how I don't know how I would have come you, out. You could have still come know. out successful, but you wouldn't be who you are today. I would say, listen, listen, you I, need, I, listen I'm not, I'm not here. Trying, I'm, listen, let's not get this twisted. I'm not here trying to say that oh, one parent is better than two. I'm not trying to say that whatsoever. I, I agree. I'm just trying to say that I don't. I can't say right now that I am hundred percent more of a success because. I had my mum and my dad there. If I just had my mum, stop. I don't know how I would have done. You can't say that. Being more, more yes. successful. That you can't. That, 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 that. Well, guys, when I say success, I don't mean in terms of jobs and stuff. Like that. I'm just talking it's about that. as a person. It, it, and I'm, no, like, no, it's not a little shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not about that. I think you can say But I think you can say that you are a more well-rounded, more balanced person for having your two two parents in your life than you would be if you only had one. And that once again. That's not a knock on, on the single parent. I don't know how you can answer. I don't know. I, it's almost like, and I, the reason why I say that, I'm, I'm very lucky, and yes, I'm privileged that I've had my mum and my dad throughout my, my whole life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I shouldn't have to say I'm lucky. It's just the way it should be yeah. in that respect. Mm. But it's almost like saying, well, you've got where you are because of that. So what about the guy next to me who, who's just doing as just as good as me, but was just raised by a single person? Well, they, so have their own, they have their own issues. They've got their own issues. They've, they've, they've got, got their, their own, own little, 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 little aspects in, uh, of him that are, are not the same and, and not, have not been built up due to that's that. That's why that I didn't want to use the word successful, because like this, and I, that's I, I don't know my that person. Is. I mean, I spoke with him, I don't know him. Yeah. It's having a, it will have some kind of effect on my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that yeah. I mean? It's not that you're not successful. It's not that I'm successful, but, but it, that will have some effect, kind of negative yeah. effect on my life. Hmm. That's interesting. That is interesting. Let me just take it to the stream quickly. Um, da, 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 da. Right. Uh, Danielle said, it is both roles when you are dealing with issues of the opposite sex. You have to take that role. I had to teach my firstborn to wash his willy, and I don't have one. Again, it's, it's the, that to me... That is the, an example of, of playing the role. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to say that. I don't think that has she to be is, She is you. that. I'm not, I'm not trying to say, but in terms of roles, from when we use the word roles, then, then we, we give people those roles. That would be a fatherly role. Let's, let's be honest, or we're yeah. going to try and change yeah, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. But no, anyone can teach that. No, but that's real. No, I, mean, I, I, no, I agree with that. That's real. Yeah, that. because, because it's not. All right, washing your body parts. Yeah. It, so you can teach a woman about. about but washing, yes. washing, right. washing, <laughs> not, not, not washing. I'm talking about washing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me carry on. Let me carry on. Right. Shout out to Selena. Right, she Thank said, you. Craig, my son came to me once to talk about his private part. Straight away, I said, I don't have one of those. Go and talk to your dad. I can't talk to him about his privates as I don't know how it feels. I can't relate. I, I get that. And I, and I, I do mean, get that. Uh, but, but if she had to, if she, she would, had to, she would. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. That, again, that is my point. Again, kids are, are, are privileged for the fact that you, you can play your roles as such, you understand know, you know what I mean? Uh, a woman can't teach a boy how to be a man, vice versa. I, and I think in some aspects, yes, I, I sometimes think, I don't know whether I'm just being argumentative, it might just be that, because I am that guy yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But I think them saying sound good, but they sometimes, when I think about it, I just think to myself, they're not yeah, actually, it's, it's, it, they're not actually true. There, there are plenty of women that have, have raised, you can raise a good man. It's good, but something still, still, there's still, there's still there's something going to be missing. The saying is shit though. No, I don't think it is. It I just don't. sounds good. I'm afraid you're saying this shit. It just sounds no, good. I don't think it is. I, I, I disagree with that. I think I think it's it's true. It is, it, it, all right, maybe. Are you, you, say, are you saying, saying no? No men have been raised by women. No, I'm not saying no men. Have been saying raised shit, by women. Saying saying but, but, but what I'm saying to you is, yeah. All right, cool. If technically, if you want to say that, because you're always, <laughs> you don't always, 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 always do this. You don't always do this. The same boy. A woman can raise a man. It's not a boy because a woman can't provide a boy with what a man can provide. Yeah, yeah. but we're not. That's, that's not what the saying. Do you know what I'm saying? So based on that, I'm saying this is a good saying. All right, I, I, I do get that. Let me just take it. Let me take it back to the screen. <laughs> right. Um, a woman can own. This is from Michelle. A woman can only teach your boy not to be. As a man, not to be as a man, not how to be a man. No. Ah, yeah. how not, not to, to be, be as a man. Okay. Yeah, right. I like that. Right. And this is I, exactly I like that. that. Through yeah, I like that. I'm her perspective, perspective of what she doesn't like in a man. Right. Right. I was going to still finish what she was saying. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, big up. Uh, yeah. Uh, but how she feels a man should be and just goes by the experience of whatever she has she come across in her yes. life. Well done, mate. You know what, yeah? Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Yeah, you're going to get the like today. I'll your sister. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't your mother. Man, so I'm going to say something else. <laughs> I'm anyway. drinking a magnum and then we're going to have to drink it. Moving on, moving on. 
Oh my <laughs> gosh, that, that, that's the truth. <laughs> I never lie, that just threw me off. You've got issues, you know. I'm coming on, Steve, don't worry. Right. Um, again, I, I wanted to go into, in, in terms of the, the relationships yeah, and the effects of or of women with absent fathers, yes. how the, how they've affected relationships. Has anyone got any Oh, well, no, because it's called absent fathers. Yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. love they, love they, love they. Twice, 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 boy, No, no, it's called absent fathers. So I, I, I wanted to to know if has anyone got any experiences that they can speak about, maybe in terms of women that they've been with mm. who have had absent fathers, and you feel that it's played a role so, in your relationship. I used to know a female um, who, her, her mum didn't allow her to know her dad for the early parts of her growing up. She got to probably about, probably about 13, 13, 14 without knowing her, her father. Can I just ask, please remember when you said, can I just ask, do you, do you think it was justified what the mum does? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. My brother made a sex. Um, but then it might have been, you know, it's older than that. It might have been about 15, 16, because she then got to an age where she wanted to know, she wanted to know her father. Mm. And I think because, because she knew it was down to her mum why, why he wasn't around, she, when, when, when they finally kind of came together, there wasn't any animosity or, you know, yeah. hostility or whatever. But now, now, mm. you know, she is like a proper, proper daddy's girl. And if anything, yeah, she's probably over over compensating because of you know so many lost years without him. Mm. But now, but I think that you know it probably wasn't too late for him to start providing some balance in mm. terms of you know m male male and female input. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> no punchline, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for that. For that, that, that just told us a story. Yeah, yeah, just... Alright, listen. Let, uh, let me. I, I'm gonna put it out there. I'll keep it real. Hmm. All right. Um, my wife um, doesn't. Um, her father, her her natural father, doesn't play an active role in her life. Babes, are listen. Just send me a message. Can't get it too far. Yeah, but um, doesn't play an active um, active role in her life. And I believe that for one. It's impacted our relationship in, in both positive and negative. Uh, it's made her a, a better mum um, in, in terms of that being there. And this is where I was talking before about the, the abandon, abandonment um, and feeling like you're not good enough. I, I've seen aspects in, in her life, even forget our relationship, that are, oh, are you sure? Are you sure that that's all right? Are, are you like, and whereas, you know, for me, like me being a father, even just to my sons, obviously I can't compare it to, to having a daughter, but I'm telling them every day constantly how amazing they can be. You understand what I mean? And mm -hmm. and where that's been that's been missing, and I've, I've had my mum who, who, my mum obviously in terms of having the opposite sex in my life, who's just been super, you can rule the world, you're this, of course you're good enough. Like if they say you're not good enough, they're chatting shit, you know what I'm saying? So I, that's built up that confidence, that self-esteem inside me, you understand what I mean? And Yes, I, I, I can get that from my dad, but es especially coming from, from a woman, mm -hmm. it's made me confident towards the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean? And I, I think that that's definitely had um, uh, a role in, in, in my wife's life. But, and then in terms of how it's impacted, um, impacted in our, our relationship, is that, you know, if there's ever a si situation where, you know, we've, um, we're having an argument or something, I, being the, the bastard that I could be, would press on the buttons, yeah? The walking out. Mm. You know, I, I, I kind of whether it's subconscious or consciously, I, I knew that's the way to, to get to her. Yeah. And it would be like, all right, cool, I'm going. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'll be walking out. This is, again, early doors in our, our relationship. Yeah. Um, and, you know, with, with me, again, early doors in our relationship, she might have stuck by me, and I don't know whether this is the sole reason, she might have stuck by me going through some shit where other women wouldn't. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? Or there, and, and the reason why I say that is because fathers with daughters, and this is my perception of it, set standards of, of love yes. and levels of what's okay. acceptable and what is not acceptable. Mm -hmm. And I think when that's been installed in such an early age, um, I think it, again, can be positive and negative because loyalty and stuff like that, there, you know, there's loyalty. We've come through that. We can say we've got a successful marriage and, and all of those things because she's been that, that rock who, who stu stuck by me. Um, whereas maybe other women, and I don't know whether it stems again directly from the father relationship, 
might have just walked. So, uh, what in terms of what my point is, maybe the the, the women who have had the, the fathers in their life and have had these standards and, and pedestals kind of set, when where do they get? To, maybe they get to a point where it's like, well, you know what? That's not good enough for me. That's not good enough for me. That's not good enough. Oh wow, I'm forty years old. That's not good enough for me. Oh, I'm fifty years old. Do you understand what I mean? And I'm, I'm not trying to say, oh, it's just you must settle. Hmm. But, you know, through her hardship, I, I believe that it's, it's, she's got a, a skill, a strength that probably I ain't even got of, of, of loyalty and knowing how to love and teaching me as well. Do you understand what I mean? So it's, it's weird in that respect. And that's the reason why I say it can be positive and negative. Yeah, I do agree with that because that whole... That ain't good enough for me. For that ain't good enough for me. And you keep going to mm. you could. It, it, it's, a, it's a dangerous game to play. Hundred. Yeah, but I think I think in regards to and I, I totally agree with what you said in regards to, to women who have had their fathers around. They 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 set a level of of understanding in terms of what a man should be provide should should be coming to the table with, because my missus she's had her dad and stepdad in her life. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So for her, she from a, from from a young age kind of had the understanding of okay. This is what I expect from from a man. Now, yeah. for me, at times, I thought it was a bit unrealistic. You know what I mean? And, and, and at times, I in terms of the levels that she's setting. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and at times, I thought uh, it was a bit of a, a bit of a pressure thing because I'm trying to I'm trying to meet kind of the, your expectations of your father, and I'm not your father. Do you know what I mean? It can, but, it can, ne it can never be. Man. You never, yeah, never, yeah, exactly. That's, that's about you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if I'm looking at it, if I'm looking at my daughter, that's exactly what I what I want yeah. for my daughter. I would prefer for her to have. A higher level of expectation from a man than to have kind of no expectation because then you're you're learning as you go. I mean, you're always learning, but you're you're learning as you go along and you kind of know experience as to what a man should, what a man's love should really and truly look like. Because you know what I'm saying is that in line what you're saying that <clears throat> there's there's some women that they grow up and not they, they don't necessarily know the levels that they should be and they kind of kind of you know kind of learn. I hope would say it, but kind of learn on the job. Yeah, you know, kind of like yeah, and. What you like, like that? You, what you're saying is, you'd rather have that have them standards set from an early age rather than, you know, a woman. Because it, yeah, because it, it's not to say that women don't have them levels. Yeah, it's yeah. just that it may take them longer they got to figure understand out. what those levels are. Then. Yeah, and, and again, yeah. It's, it's it's society, it's it's friendship, mm -hmm. it's it's all of these things that are teaching them when that's not where. It, yes, you, you should get teaching. Yeah, you should but, get teaching, but that shouldn't be the as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, your your main source. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Let me read out a couple of comments. Um, right, Daniel said, there is no such thing as better parenting. We all fuck up sometimes. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely cool. helps uh, having both parents showing our youth how to love each other, build together, enforce family and unity. Uh, I see the difference in my eldest to my two, uh, to my two, two youngest, to my two youngest who grew with their mum and dad. Yeah. That's, That's interesting. interesting. That's very interesting. That's a very, very interesting thing. When she, uh, could you elaborate? Yeah, um, but, but what's the way he wants to get up in all up in your business? No, I don't want to, like, oh, This I, is what we do. We, yeah, yeah, we, we don't don't know, know, that when you see a difference, like, that's yeah, yeah, it is, I must say that is in, that's intriguing. Um, right, Cece Brown, what's going on? Um, she's put Craig clapping hands. I think that was from my great speech and stuff. Um, Danielle said definitely Craig 100%. Um, Craig, you've hit a good point. Not sure what I've missed. Cece Brown, you must, must try and tune in. Um, these things are all going to be saved as well, so, so don't worry about that. Daniel said it's uh, better to have high expectations than none at all. Yeah. This is the other point that I wanted to raise as well. I think when um, women who don't have father, um, like absent fathers, and sometimes when they don't have a fatherly figure in their life, yeah. go into relationships and start looking at their boyfriend as their dad. Do you understand what I mean? Or look for them to play that role. Mm -hmm. And the reason why, I'm, and the reason why I say this is a little things like. Um, for example, it might be money management. It, it might be having to be told to do something that really and truly, if the man weren't there, you would just get on and do, get and, and, and do yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, looking for words of, uh, of affirmation, which might not just be through looking as a, as a fatherly figure, but Seek it might just be, yeah, it might Seek just be that, well done, like, you can do it, yeah, go champ, you know what I'm saying, it might be, <laughs> it might be those sort you of things. You don't say go champ to a girl, but... Right, but... go champ now, But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's those sort of things, and it's, where, where do men draw the line? Where do men draw the line in terms of, all right, cool, I've got with a woman and I can see that she is 
damaged. Yeah, and I mean when I say that, I, I say yeah, that nicely. Yeah. yeah, but you know, there's a there's a diamond in the rough as such. And I, again, said with respect, where do men? Where should men draw the line and say, you know what? That's not for me because I can't. Although I love what I'm seeing there and I love what she could become, I can't provide her with what she needs. For me, do, what I should do. Sorry, do, what I should do. Yeah, is what is you have to. Everybody, regardless of of whether your father's in your role or not, in, in your life or not, everybody needs to understand. Yeah, that nobody can provide you with true happiness. Yeah. So you might be looking for something in somebody because it's not. It's, it's something that's been lacking in your life. But until you understand that. Only you can provide that. Only you can 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 give you what you're looking for. Then then you're always going to be looking for something. And in regards to men, I think that I think the man has to understand that you know what. All right, cool. She hasn't had a father in her life. I can I I can help and I can I can be supporting to a certain degree. But that's all I can do. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? Like she shouldn't be looking for him to be that fatherly figure because yeah. it's, he's not the fatherly figure. Yeah, I, I get and, that, and he and he shouldn't be trying. He shouldn't try to be providing that because that's your partner in there. Not, not true. I, I get that. Well, anyway. I don't think um, as a man you can look at a woman and say, "Oh, that isn't work for me." You should know what you're capable of or of taking on board. If you love everything about that woman, then you, for me, you should be willing to work with her. Because at the end of the day, you ain't coming in there perfect. Mm. You've got your own problems because you've grown up. Probably in a single house, you're, you're, you're damn self. So you've come into there, and you need you need you need work as well. So I don't think you should come in there telling you know thinking. Mm -mm, mm -mm. If you like everything about that woman, I think you can be prepared to work at it and try and, and try and help her repair the same way she's going to help you repair. I I I look at that and I, I agree to a certain extent because sometimes I think to myself, well, you know what? You should be able to look at a woman and think, you know what? I'm not a good. I might not be at the level of what she needs. I can't give that woman what she, she needs. But you should and know you that. should be able to, to, to identify that and step away if necessary. I get that there are going to be points where it's like, well, you know what, yeah, you both got a build and stuff like that. That's when you're in. But when yeah. you're in, then you get to that, you have I think to build. It's definitely about, this, if you're doing that from early on and you can see from early on that that's got problems that you can't manage, then you, you just don't go there. You have to make step away because you know that you are not capable of helping her through this. But you know what, though? We say this and there are... A lot of guys out there who haven't come to the realization themselves that they are, I'm saying. They, they are themselves damaged. Right, this mm -hmm. is my thing. Yeah, 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 so yeah. self awareness in men is, is, yeah. is not that exactly. It's, 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 you get to, it's either an experience that kind of alerts you to that, or you get to a certain age in life where you, where you start to think about life and, and, and realize, raw, oh, I'm damaged in a certain kind of way because of ABC. Um, but I think that like, if guys were to be more self, self aware, um, then it would help them to understand. Look, my partner is lacking because of certain things that's happening in her life. Yeah, no, I, I get that. Listen, I need to, I need to take it to the stream. There's yeah. some good comments coming through. Um, and again, I appreciate everyone who's who's being honest and open. Um, we we try our best to give the, the, the same back. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everyone who's kind of um, putting you know their stuff out there as well. Right, um, Michelle Jackson. That's my wife, by the way. Yeah, my dad. My dad black to my dad back to consistent uh, lacks my dad lacks con the consistency so would be here one minute say say he'd come in and never show up my mum never heard that from me my mum never tried to cover up she never hid that from me never hid that from she me. never hit all right yeah yeah never hid that from me my mum never tried to cover up or make excuses for him okay I get you now my mum always kept it one hundred and that was the raw truth of her and parts of me just wanted to prove her wrong wanted to prove to her that my dad did love me and my dad did want me around or want to be a, uh, or want to be around should I, I say hate hearing this kind of shit. Um, the hardest thing about not having my dad is not knowing how loved I am um, if he is proud of me etc I never had a positive view on marriage my mum and dad were married my mum and dad divorced when I was two my dad has gone on to marry three more times yes, with his most re recent partner only a few years younger than me what? Wow. So it's 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 mad. Um, he's younger, a few years old. Okay. She's younger. Okay. He, um, only a few years younger. younger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's it's that's, mad. That's 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 that's. We're we're big wrong first, people, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> like, first let's and foremost, that sound like some. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. First and foremost, Mish, thank you for sharing, man. Yeah. Um, it's and, and, and this is the thing. It's like that love because she said not knowing that she was loved. That I just. Having a daughter, 
I just can't see how any a man, man in that position could ever do that. It's not even just a daughter, a child. A child. Yeah. Exactly. And, the thing, and the thing about it is, I, I understand that there's life gets in the way. Because let's not pretend that we're, we're all holier than thou and life gets in the way. However, I just can't see how any man could just neglect their child. Like, life can't get in the way that much. It's, 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 it's hard. I'll tell you what, it's, it's hard for me because obviously, going on the back of her comment, I, I'm, I'm emotionally attached to, to the mm. situation. Mm. It, it fuck it really angers me. Mm. It, it angers me for the fact that of, of of how much love, no matter how much, you know, I'm not gonna call it rejection or or lack of, um, you know, I don't know, lack of love on the same level. Mm. Her her dad's shown it's always just in there. It's always just been love, love, love they've given, and I just can't understand how someone can show love for periods of time then not at least be fuck. Sorry, I don't want to swear, but at least be consistent. You know what I'm saying? If you're not there, then fuck off. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing in in terms of me being connected to the situation. Mm -hmm. However, it's it's hard because one, it's her dad, and she loves her dad. I'll never come onto her platform and be, be disrespectful. Mm -hmm. it's, it's my my kid's grandfather at the end of the day. But it is very very frustrating as a as a man who who loves his family and knows that the love that he gets back from it that someone can almost identify it and still walk away from that. It, it, it's mind-boggling to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, on a, diff and on, on a deeper level also as well, yeah. Like, you know, me and Dwayne always got to go into the black thing. Mm. But like, with, with, in terms of the community, a lot of this is like, this is why a lot of women aren't able to place trust in the black man because they feel let down and abandoned by the black man. You know what I mean? Because the father, the father figures the father that, role yeah. is, has, has let them down and so, that's 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 the only experience that they have to go by. Mm. So they're like, well, my dad's done that, so any yeah, my dad can do that. Anybody can do it. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Why am I gonna place trust in somebody? Do you know? You know? Yeah. And then when they do, the man then does what he does, and then they think for fuck's sake, exactly. I'm back here again. Exactly. And it's, 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 it's a vicious cycle, man. Right. But Come, then, yeah, so, sorry. And I'm not attacking in any way. Mm. But do you not think that the same women that that grow up like this without without father figures? I'm not saying all of them. Listen, I'm not. Don't want no beef. But there are women that then have children and feel like because their mum did it without without a father, they can, do it, they can do it without they can and they can do it without without you know. It's almost like I'm strong enough to do it, but they want to well, prove a point. Well, it's not it's not even saying that I'm strong enough to do this, but it's like well, clearly I, I I've, I've grown up as an example of it can it's possible. So and I I don't necessarily need you. I, I'm not saying women are that's 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 a cycle, but they're, they're saying. You know, they, they may want them, but they don't need them. Because can you they, blame because them? But can you blame not them? Because, because the example that they've grown right. up with is that they don't they don't need them. Right. You're, you, to, to a lot of women, you're a bonus. Mm. Like you're not necessarily should, as, you're not you're not necessarily right, essential, yeah. and that's because women have grown up not necessarily realizing the balance that is needed of both parties. Mm. They mm. think that it's okay to raise a child on their exactly. own. And everything is going to be fine. Uh, because, it may have been so shit over the years. Up, it may have been so shit over the years that women have become that way. Mm. Yeah, a lot of men have been so shit over the years. Let's 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 have it right. Let's not generalize because there's a lot of men out there. Let me let me read out um, another what comment. Let me read out another comment. You just kind of said men you like, Lucy. Don't worry about it. It's cool. <laughs> we'll fuck up sometimes. Right. CC Brian has said, "Not sure what I have missed, but I will say this: a woman learns how to love a man." from how their relationship was with their dad. Yeah, a young girl will not see her dad often, but will hear that he loves her because he says so. And she says it back because that is her dad. And she feels obligated to kind of respect him because that is her dad. And unfortunately, that moves into adulthood, meaning some women will accept certain behavior from a man because it is all they know from the relationship they had with their father. So cut it short, hope you understand what I'm saying. This, yeah, is, yeah. this is totally one of the points yeah. that I was making earlier. And that that, that totally. relates to the, to, to the memes that we had that was going out in regards to, like, you know, you said, what, well, not, not the memes, but um, Kim, Ka Kim Kardashian. Yeah, no, I mean, and even Mary J, where she's gone through abusive relationships and so forth because her dad just rendered that. Yeah. Very early. So would you ultimately say that emotionally, does a, a, a father or a mother have more responsibility in the in the nurturing of a of a young woman? I don't know. I, I, I don't, answer that I don't think. I, I, I think that's a very unfair question. I think that, like I said, every part every, every parent has a role to play yeah. in that child's life. I don't think one is more important than the other. Yeah, definitely. I, 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 and it's, it's. I think. I think ultimately, if I if I had to throw my hat on it, I'm saying that. 
I, I, I would say, I would say a, a, a mum because a mother, like, a dad, a dad gives you in terms of a, a female. A dad, a dad shows you how to love. A dad shows you kind of what you should ex, should expect from a, a man and so forth. But a mum. Oh, I just saw your angle. Oh, that was a good angle. Yeah, carry on, carry on, carry on. No, no, serious. I just saw it. I was like, <laughs> no, no. I just saw it and I was like, she's making a good point. Yeah, carry on. Sorry, bro. Wow. Yeah, go on, go on. I saw the angle, I saw the angle. You just threw me, bro. No, no, sorry, sorry. I thought Craig had gone nuts. No, no, sorry. I'm so, uh, I am. No, I, just, I was, I was engrossed to it and I, I reacted too much. I'm sorry, okay, guys. Can't yeah, go on. <laughs> this is a serious topic. No, no this, this, you, you just brought it to an anticlimax now. But, no, but I'm saying that a, a mum gives you that, that, that whole rounded, everyday, like, example. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Exactly. Example of, of everyday life, how you should conduct yourself in, in, a, in every kind of situation. Like, yeah, so, yeah. That, that, this is, uh, the thing is, what I was thinking before is now, nah, well, you know what? We're talking about love is the opposite sex. The dad must play the part, but it's exactly, and that's what I thought. I was like, no, nah, but they're seeing it every day as an example of yeah, yeah. what you should tolerate from what you shouldn't tolerate. And I guess in that respect, as for them being a woman as well, it, it would actually it'd be more. So I, I, ch I actually changed my mind and say that a mum is actually that's more important. Cool. That's very good. Cool. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's me, isn't it? <laughs> that's very good. <cool. laughs> no, that's me. But listen, uh, let me read out a couple more. Uh, Daniel said, Craig, your missus sounds like my eldest. It's hard that you can't make someone want to be a parent. Um, and I'm going to go back because she actually made another comment, which that will make more sense. Sorry, Daniel, I'm reading it wrong. Right? She said, because we asked her the questions, kind of come back. Mm. Um, my eldest behavior was difficult and grew angry at not having his dad around. But my two youngest are normal, cheeky children. Mm. So it's uh, again, it's it's how that kind of thing manifests. You know what I'm saying? In, in both boys, any direction, yeah. yeah. And also, yeah, like I'm not trying to get deep into this, but that the the, the eldest must feel a way that obviously. His, um, the, 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 the younger two have their dad around and I'm sure that the, 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 the dad of the younger two obviously will accept the oldest anyway but like to see that right the youngest two father, fathers around and they're getting a certain amount of love might, I didn't make that, that hmm? I, my sister had heard that day, I didn't at no point think oh it's not fair I, I is it about the way that he embraced you though no because I don't think I, I don't personally think I had a very a great relationship with my stepdad as a child mm. I felt like he was there mm. but that's all he was he was just there it's as I got older, our relationship was improved, and we were able to relate a lot more. Just I mean, I told you, you were yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. But don't you, like going going back on that, and again, I don't want to delve off the off the subject. Do you think that is maybe subconsciously being younger that you 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 wasn't so receptive of him? Not to say that you didn't accept him being there, but all right, cool. I've got a problem. I I want to speak to a man. That's the man I, I, didn't, I just didn't have any of that. I don't know if it was because I, I can't remember that far back. I don't know if it was me. You don't you know, you know, find him approachable. Yeah, I just didn't. I didn't, if I had a man problem, I had a man problem. I just dealt with it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, like, I didn't speak to my mum about those things. I didn't speak to my dad. I just got on with things. Yeah. Like yeah. When I, even like first time in six, I didn't ask no questions. I just went and done it. Do you know what I mean? You see, and that's what I'm saying about the whole playing the role thing because, like, like exactly like you said there, bro. Like, if you if you were raised in just a single parent household and and, and you've got like men problems and and you, you just get on with it. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that, that playing the role isn't the it's not the mum kind of acting as the dad. He just getting on with it and fixing his job. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's interesting. Right, we, we are gonna we're gonna start closing out and we're gonna try and get some final thoughts. But before we do so, I, I do wanna read um my wife's comment. Wife's comment. Yeah, because we, we literally could because it's as you start talking more, it raises more questions. Yeah, yeah, so it, up, it opens, yeah, it just opens up. Because at one point I was thinking, all right, yeah, cool, we kind of got this, but it's, it's nuts. As soon as someone says something, you're like, right, I haven't experienced that. And then you ask questions about it. Um, yeah, so, right, so, yeah, sorry, Danielle has come back. She said, yes, Craig, as much as he loves my partner, it only highlights why is my dad not doing this. Um, that's deep. And I, I feel, and you know what? I, I've seen so many examples of, of children like that who come on to be fantastic fathers. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean? So obviously keep doing what you're doing. Shout out to your partner as well. Um, and just, just keep help growing it, really. Um, right, so Michelle has said, there comes a time, um, this is my wife as well again, just coming back onto what she was saying before. There comes a time when you have to let go and realise your worth. And when you have children, you switch your protective instinct to shelter them from the pain you once felt. My dad let me down so much, I, uh, I didn't and refused to allow that to be done to my, my children. Mm. Uh, and yeah, I, I, listen, first hand, it's, it's, it's really weird because I, 
again, without kind of putting too much of, of her business out there, as much as it's mine as well. Um, I, I have seen that that switch, is, is, especially as um, our, our youngest one is getting older and more, more conscious about people and relationships and links and stuff like that. Mm. Um, she, her, her, her whole kind of energy has just gone on to them. Like, don't come in there, like, and then disappear. Like, don't do that. Mm. Like, I'm cool now. Like, I'm okay. Yeah. But don't do that. that. That's when we'll have a proper problem. Do you understand what I mean? So, it's... It's nuts, man, and it, and it's hard. Um, I'll kind of just carry on and give my final thought, and, and let everyone else carry carry on as well. So go before we go, slightly off subject, mm. but we're here, so I just want to ask your opinion on things. Right. So I'm always taking the kids to Disneyland in Florida, uh, and I'm gonna meet my my dad and stuff over there. Okay. Yeah. No. What am I gonna say, bro? Go on. Right. So my thing is, yeah, you're not part of my life. Yeah. Yeah. And my stepdad has played that that role. As much as I was thinking before, it's only just dawned on me right now. As much as I was thinking before, I'm going to go over and introduce you as, as Randa. I don't think it's a good idea. Because you're not going to be in, you're not going to be in their life. You're not going to be popping in. You're not going to be, you don't even call me. So I can't expect you're going to call what, I, 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 in terms of In terms of that, um, I think, first of all, it's, it's a, an amazing thing that you're, you're doing. I think it's, it's, a, it's a positive, mm. positive step. But I think a lot of what you're trying to achieve is out of your hands. Uh, and it is all about your father and how receptive is he. If, who's the one guiding this? Because if it's you going to him looking to get something and you don't know how that person's going to react, I would almost say so maybe you need to to me. So the question is, what do you want to get out of this? Right, this, you, right you, it's only now just all of me. I think he said something that, that, that triggered it. Yeah. So because something has been getting on me, oh, you need to go over there. Because my dad's old as well. about... Not, not allowing it to yes to come in and out now I, my thing was i was going over to see my nan my dad was gonna he's he's, he's gonna be there kind of thing mm. now i've got nothing to pay from it but right? you can't i'm a big man there's nothing you can help me with or, or advise me with uh, you're just there now isn't it? Yeah. but i was going to introduce them but i just don't think it's worth it now okay so then i don't think there's anything to gain what do you gain for you okay you meet him he's no longer be a part of your life no but i i, I do in a sense think that you know what when, especially with children, yeah, there's mum, dad, aunties, granddad, parents, parents, sorry, grandparents or whatever. Even if it is an identity, to know what that person looks they like. Have and they have saying, Yeah, but they have not from not from your side. Right. Yeah, because because who plays your your no, dad no, now? No, is there is a granddad? Okay, so ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I mean? you know what? But hold on, I get that. But, I get but, that. I get why I someone that in there for what for a one day only thing who who clearly no. isn't going guys, to guys, isn't think, going to stay consistent. I think that. as parents, yeah, sometimes we have to realize and understand that children are a lot more resilient than we give them credit for. Yeah, like why the thing about it is they're gonna ask questions as to who that person is anyway because you, you, they're gonna see him. They're gonna see him. So what are you going to say to them? You then got to tell them, tell them a lie. But no, they wouldn't. No, they see it. No, but they wouldn't. Okay. In normal okay. circumstances, they wouldn't. No, but he's going. He's going, going over, and I'm going over this. So they, they are going to meet. They will meet. You know, yeah. Of course, he's somebody. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, so what are you thinking about doing? Like, meeting, he's just introducing just... them and not telling them. No, that that I don't agree. <laughs> I, 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 I think. So what? What they you, don't are you doing it solely for them? Huh? Is you you said something before, and I was like, well, I don't get nothing out of it. Yeah, it's not. I think you do. What? I, I don't think that it's, it's the, the thing of, uh, you know what, my, my dad has to do anything to help me. Because like okay, so you, 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 you are a big man. You are a big man. But I think that that does, that, maybe you, you won't admit it now, maybe you don't actually identify with what it actually is. But There's I know you. Yeah, there is, you there is. are not picking up yourself with your lazy ass, no, going all the way no, over to nan, go and do something. My nan, I want my kid back. So it's, it's, it's for my nan. nan. Right, I got you, got you. Yeah. All right, so maybe then. So, but so don't take that bad. I thought it was actually just. No, it's from my but, like I said, I, I, I honestly look. Once you, once you leave there, once you leave America, yeah. The, that's the, it. The likelihood is that they're not going to see him again. Ever. That's not, that, that's not going to trouble them. That's not that's not going to. It's not going to interfere with their life. It's not going to affect them the way that they've grown. It's not like they have their everything set up in terms of how the normal grandparents and blah blah blah. I th I think it's good for the for the children to to know right. That that's that's granddad. Put a put a face but to you, what can, uh, Let me just kind of put something on. No. That. Yeah, my my youngest, um, Carol, he will ask about Misha's grand uh, Misha's Misha's dad, yeah. and 
What do you say to like? What do you say like? Oh, I don't know, or I want to talk to him. Right, no, so you can't have that. Do you know what I mean? It's like only, I've only that's why I said to you before. What what is you should maybe I think Dan, Danielle said it in here as well. You should maybe meet him on your own test of waters in terms of what he's looking to get from. I'm not trying to say you've got to hide the kids from him, but <laughs> but you know, but it might not be the thing of introducing him as grandma. It depends on how your kids will take to him. Do you understand what I mean? Because I think that. Yeah, what is the point of introducing them to, to someone as their grandfather yeah. who is not going to play or want to play a grandfather role? Let's just say they hit it off when you're on holiday for the next two weeks and then they come back and just ask, well, well, why, why, don't, why, why don't you love us? Do you understand? It's all the dumb sort of things that, yes, it won't affect as much as a father, and that's what but I they think. can love still that. kind of get in there. But you'd easily get around that because it's not a thing of, like, whack. It's not a thing of love or, you know, wanting to see it. At the end of the day, you live in two different countries, and that's, that's an easy thing to explain. It's just whether or not you, you know, if you are actually going to introduce them, and whether or not you, you really want them to know, you know exactly who that is and who that is. Well, you, Selena, your wife has said, yeah. yes, Steve, but they still need to know where they come from. Right. And I've just, I swear, I was just about to say that. Like, I think if, you're, if, you, if your children, obviously, there's going to come a stage where your children are going to know exactly the ins and outs between mm -hmm. him and dad and him not being there and blah, blah, blah. Of course. But them knowing that, you know what, Ra, even though dad had issues with his dad and blah, 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 he still introduced us to him and he still introduced us as the grandparents. As a grandpa, grandparent, they'll respect you a lot more for that, bro. I, 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 I honestly it's a maturity. It's a maturity that they'll appreciate about you later in life. Of course, uh, I big up as well for, for kind of bringing that. I, I'm I'm on the fence. I'm think I'm still a bit on the fence with it. I, I would need to know. I would need to have numerous conversations with with my father before my kids. You need to have a better understanding. Yeah, of about what his intentions are more yeah. so than 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 what mine are because I know you know obviously I want them to come out and meet their great. Sorry guys for taking it all the um, No, no, not at all, but it, it's, it kind of, it, it does kind of intertwine what we're talking about. Selena said, D, if this was me, you would be telling me to let them meet their granddad. Yeah? Right, hold on. Like. <laughs> it's been said, it's been said. Right, um, and Michelle has said, he may have failed you, D, but I agree with Selena. Yeah, there's no surprise there. <laughs> I think, I think that's right. Thing to do, bro. right, but um, in terms of obviously wrapping up the show, um, yes, it's, it's, it's hard sometimes knowing that our biggest desire normally is is a woman yet we as men are sometimes responsible for the downfall in some parts or, or the damage caused to, to what we want so much um, mm -hmm. and yeah it's, it's like I've I know from my experiences now that when I do obviously have a have a daughter of, of, of how to how to love you yeah, know, to, when <laughs> yeah, yeah, when <laughs> But of how to love um but obviously for the women who have kind of have gone through that um and you've got to this level of maturity i think um uh, awareness is is the the, the key um, obviously if you're you're watching this and you're thinking raw even subconsciously yeah maybe that might have been me or blah 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 like be aware of that and, and try and take action against that it's it's not your fault that's the only thing i can say is it is not your fault you you are loved um but sometimes the the, the father who is absent maybe didn't get the teaching that, that they needed, exactly. didn't That's know how to love, you know what I'm saying, didn't know how to, to, to really, you know, show you and give you what you need, so, and that's the reason why I was saying before about men, just, just like, kind of know what you're getting into, isn't it, like, when you, when you're, you know, and know yourself, somewhere. and know yourself, more yeah, important, that's more important, yeah, that's, yeah. that's me, because sometimes you can't, you don't, oh, uh, yeah, you're not, I'm saying, I'm sorry, I'm going to love you, we're still discussing, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, Craig's basically just taking all the, the golden nuggets. But yeah, I agree, I agree with, with, with pretty much everything he's saying. Um, ladies, I think, I think not just ladies, every, everyone in general, it's, it's about, we're in a day and age where kind of like everybody's brain is numb, like you're on social media, you're doing this, you're doing that, and you're not really taking a, like thinking about your life and kind of the things that have affected you and the way that you are and the way that you act, like, the way you act. Um, so what I would say is just try and be aware of of things that have impacted you in your life and, and now impact the way that you are as a person, as an adult, yeah? Because I was reading um, before, obviously, the show and reading, and it was saying that one of the biggest things that women have faced from um, absentee fathers is that they kind of suppress the emotions and suppress the trauma that comes with not having the father around, and then it doesn't hit them until life yeah, triggers yeah. a reaction as, a, as an adult, yeah? So... What I'm saying is just let, let's just try and be more conscious of, of that. Um, guys, also as well, like Craig has said, and like we said before, 
if you're if you're more aware of yourself, then you can help your partner, you can help your counterpart to understand these things that that is happening in life and the way it's, it's, it's affecting them. But um, guys, don't leave your friggin daughters like be involved in your daughter's life in it. Daughter, son, we were kids, yeah, like we like. But uh, okay. but obviously the, the the subject and the topic is about daughters in it. Like a woman is the most precious thing in this world, bro. Be involved in your, your your daughter's life and your son's life. Like, there's no excuse whatsoever. Um, yeah, fully agree with everything the guys have said. Um, you know, any abandonment abandonment of any important role in anyone's life is is going to have an impact on someone. Mm. Losing such an important role as a you know a father figure, you know, we we you know although we've discussed it for an hour or so we still can't fully explain all the aspects that that can cause and the damage and you know you know you, you need to have full a, a bit of understanding of of the impact that you're having on walking out on children's lives yeah. but at the same time i have seen amazing women amazing women that have been you know raised and grown you know without a, without a father and all it shows me is that their struggle, their journey has been a lot harder than a lot of those children that have had a better balance. Um, and I just want to take my hats off, hat off to those, you know, the women that have raised those, those women to be such amazing women. Yes, right. Oh, I, I can't add to that. Like, I would have to be talking for the sake of talking otherwise, so I'm just going to kind of agree. I thought you were going to say something reckless. Uh, <laughs> I was scared. I <laughs> Hold my breath. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I've, I've, I've really enjoyed the show. Um, I, I, I like these shows because it, it gives people an opportunity to, to be personal um, and to, for, for us to kind of delve into things. Because I, I always say it, we, we don't speak enough. And I'm not talking about just the show, just as people. Um, it's only just been like for the last couple of weeks that I was speaking to Dwayne especially, just about um, us kind of getting together and just talking. Like we met up the other night and we were just talking and I've known Dwayne for 20 <laughs> plus years. <laughs> like I've known him for 20 plus years, but I, I found out so much like on one night mm. just because we was just willing to sit just and be honest and open because we all go through the same shit. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, but we hide it from each other so, um, out of pride, out of so, embarrassment, out of whatever it is, but we can actually help each other. I encourage women to, to to speak to each other about the experiences that you you kind of you go through, especially in regards to to parents and um, and your relationship with your father, because someone else's experience might help you. You know what I'm saying? And sure. and that's big. And also, sorry, brother, I know we're done, but like speak to your partners as well, because a lot of women have this thing where they they expect a man to understand where they're coming from, and if 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 you're not communicating and verbalizing where you're coming from. You can't expect that, 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 that man exactly <laughs> to, to to understand where you're coming from, yeah. So but that goes both ways. Both ways, yeah. I mean, I mean, just in, in regards to this topic, but yeah, definitely goes both ways. All right. Um, but yeah. Last comment I'm going to read out, and we are closing, yeah, um, because I wanted to and kind of end the story, right? Um, in terms of what he's talking about, Danielle has just said, "My, she said, my sperm donor came into my life two years ago, and even when I found out he was shit, I'm glad I did it. I know for I know for myself he is waste, and I'm even more grateful for my dad." And my children know who he is. So I think in that was in regards to yeah to what you were just saying before. Um, guys, we we definitely um, no, man. we we need your uh, you know we've got Angela and Michelle saying part two part two and and listen that might be something to do and you know what that might be something to do with, 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 with females yeah. 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 So if, you, um, if you come on, we'll do part two. Yeah, yeah, that's for all. Yeah, hit us up, ladies. We're we're putting it out hit there. Yeah. Yeah. If you're prepared to speak about your situation or or how it's, how it's affected you not having your father in your life. Hit us up and we'll do part two, definitely. Yeah, I, I think part two has to be with Mora. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but guys, we need your help. Please um, please keep giving us the thumbs up, the hearts, the laughters, the, the sadness, whatever it is. And please and, share. And please share. Yeah, you must uh, share this out. We want it to hit as many people as possible. Um, and yeah, man, listen, catch us on the next one, definitely. Look out for us on um, Instagram. We're definitely trying to put some also, stuff Also, sorry about the start again. You know, I know, we were a bit late. Technical, technical. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is, man. But you love us. Yeah, in England. Right, we're out. Peace. That's when something's supposed to happen, you know, I was like, shit. I'm not to control it. Same. Yeah, you, 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 your movies are terrible, bro.
Honestly, yeah. You can't shake shit off quick. Honestly, it's, 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 you're so emotional, it's unreal. Mum was in the back. When I was on the stage, I had this, this camera all up to shake to this. And then when he got back down, he's looking at his hand like he's flipping. What's my book of tea, bro? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> When you're 50, oh mate, I don't know. <laughs> Move on with the momentum. I hope it's one of these ones that you don't cut. And was yes. that my phone ringing? No, I think it was mine. You said Amigo went on a madness. Hold on, hold on. Well, I think we're still on. Yeah, Sorry, still guys. On. <laughs> we're definitely still on. Are we still on? Wait, it's off. Oh, wait, it's not on Amigo. Amigo's off. No, 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 it's, it's on. It's on. Okay, cool. No, it's off. It's on, man. Oh, that's sad. No, I said nothing stupid. Oh, you're good. Well, we're not connected here. This, this is delayed, remember? Uh, yes, you said yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what are you looking at? Bro, I'm looking at the comment. The comment said yes, you are. Someone looks. So, so, hey, guys. Yeah, YouTube did flop. Um, I don't know what's going on with YouTube, you know? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm going to speak to Mr. Yeah, Google. No, See, was, no it, it did. Yeah, it flopped. It, it definitely flopped, and um, it was um, pixelated as well. When? Oh, when it was just on the show. So they, no, I beg you stop this stream. What are you doing? Stop well, talking to me, bro. Oh, why don't you not just turn off the camera? Bro, it's, it's off. Done. And the thing, this is what I'm saying. It's the, the government. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the thing's saying off. Oh,